So pretty much like a teacher of the class and then come talking about it. They've helped a lot with APA and how to help construct a paper. If there was maybe her teaching before and then we came to class and she taught a little bit and then we explained, like different people explained or did activities about it, I think that would have helped a little bit more. It might be difficult to convince students to uh, do all the YouTube work because they might see it as um, outside the range of what normal work is and therefore not value it as highly as a reading or a textbook. Nursing is a big subject, so it needs to be said twice, mm -hmm. at least for me, to get it stuck in my head. It's first off going to kind of cut back on the amount of work that's going to be done just simply in reading, which for me personally kind of helps uh, retain the information that's being given to me. And second, it's going to give me motivation, more motivation to do the work that's given to me. I have a time limit of how long it's going to be. It's just a better form of learning for me. It's a lot more helpful to have a voice and a visual than just reading off of things or trying to interpret things on my own. Um, there's so many different learning styles and I think it, that YouTube videos are just another way to help nursing students that are more of a visual learner.